Kansas News Leader. You can take a beautiful musical journey this weekend thanks to the Shawnee Choral Society. Director Nicholas Carr is here to explain. It is the theme for the show after all. It is. America the Beautiful. America the Beautiful. How are you going to carry out that theme? Well, we're going to take a look at lots of different music from around the country. We'll have the actual song America the Beautiful with some quotes from the founding fathers. Our state song, Home on the Range, and some other folk music as well. So it's not going to be two hours of singing America the Beautiful in different arrangements? It won't be that long, no. no not and so it won't be just the same thing, no. <laughs> what are some of the other selections besides America the Beautiful? Uh, if you can give us a little preview. Sure. Well, on Home on the Range, we actually are going to uh, feature Kenya Patzer, a solo violinist with us. Um, Cloth of Glory, which is referencing 9-11 and the memorial, is mm -hmm. going to have cello. Aaron Rinier is going to play that with us. Uh, and also the Shawnee Heights High School Choraliers are going to join us for a couple of numbers as well. So kind of a, a wide range of music. How many people make up the Choral Society and who are they? Well, currently we have 85 singers, but oh pre-COVID we were up to 105. Hmm. Uh, but it's a non-audition group of community singers uh, that just want to get, uh, get together and make music. So how does that work? Anybody can just show up whenever you they feel like it? Or <laughs> I'm of the how mindset. How do you keep control, Nick? <laughs> it, well, it's a little bit difficult, but I'm of the mindset the more the merrier. And mm -hmm. so we have registration in the fall and the spring, and people can just show up and sing and learn more about how to sing well together. How often do you rehearse, and then how many performances do you have? We have a fall concert, which is usually holiday-themed in December, and a spring concert, and we have 12 rehearsals on Wednesdays leading up to those performances. When you think about your group and the fact that it's, you know, anyone can join, what does that bring to the table when you're putting a performance together and, and in what you see on the stage? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like my role as a public school teacher, too. You know, it's all about how many people can we get there and can we move all in the same direction together. And we're all going to move at different speeds and have different skill sets, but it's wonderful to make music together. Do you feel like they're maybe a little bit more laid back? I mean, I don't want to say that they don't take it seriously, but at the same time, I mean, these are people that truly are there for, for enjoyment, and it's not necessarily their profession, right? right. Absolutely. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's kind of nice, too, because that's where our role in the community is to provide an easy and free way to go hear concerts and hear music. It is a little bit relaxed, and I think that's part of the charm of it, uh, but they know how to work hard. So what about the students then? When you bring the students in with all of these adults who are doing this, what do you hope they get out of the experience? Well, I hope that they learn a lot from the experience being around uh, seasoned singers that have been doing this probably longer than they've been alive, for one thing. But it's also fun to bring in young singers, younger voices, and kind of get different groups together at the same concert. I imagine it kind of helps illustrate how music can be a lifelong love, even if it's just something you do on the side once in a while. You never have to leave it entirely behind. Absolutely. So yeah. what, you said you're an educator? I am. What school? Uh, I'm the choir director at Shawnee Heights High School. So you kind of have a connection to bring them out? I do. Okay. And a couple of them are already in the group. I've already coerced them into joining <laughs> the group. <laughs> How do people, if they want to join, find out about you and when they can start joining in these, these little jam right. sessions? Well, they can go to our website, but Facebook is probably even easier, Shawnee Choral Society, and there are links and emails where they can find out how to join in our fall semester. Well, the spring concert is going to be a ton of fun. Again, the theme is America the Beautiful, Shawnee Choral Society in concert, 7 o'clock this Sunday, May 5th, at White Concert Hall on Washburn University's campus. It is free admission, folks, so come on out and just enjoy some good music. Donations are appreciated, and it will be a very good time. Can the audience just pipe up and sing along? They may want to. They might. That might be okay. We'll see. That's always fun when you know the music. You know, that's part of the it's thing. It's live theater. <laughs> <laughs> Interactive, if you will. Nicholas yeah. Carr with the Shawnee Choral Society. Thank you so much. Have Thank a you. good show on Sunday. I'm sure it will be fantastic. And we are glad you could be along for our show as well. Stay tuned. Investigate TV Plus is coming up next. And mark down 630 after our 6 o'clock news, a special Hear Me, See Me live stream on WIBW.com. Get the latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.com or follow WIBW on X, Facebook, and our mobile app. Thank you.